Yes, once again, just like every other week, video time. Welcome to the channel if you're new, and welcome back if not to another Bone Lab video. Yeah. Today, after the amazing new update, go check out my video on that after this one, I decided to show all you guys how to get every key card and unlock all the respective doors. Also, in this video, I only go through the cards and doors in the campaign levels, as this video would be far too long with every single one. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So your first keycard is going to be in Descent right after the lava section. After you go through the big wooden doors, on the left are some lockers. In the top of this locker, you will find Andy T's keycard. Pretty shit name, not gonna lie, like who the fuck calls their kid Andy? Y'all from Toy Story? Anyway, you want to take this card down to the trash handler's area and jump up here. Proceed to walk, or should I say crouch, a little and you'll find the keycard reader and the door. Just slide the card into, like how I slid into your mom's DMs, just kidding, because I have zero game. The rear and voila. The room is very Melanie if I had to describe it. 3.3 .3 out of 10 would recommend. There's also another keycard door in this level, except it's not a keycard, but a key. Crazy, I know. If you head to the train area and go through the medieval management doors, you'll see a fucking zero degree escalator. Go down here and you'll find this key. Continue through the level until you find a normal escalator. Off to the right, you'll see a door and a key slot behind the escalator. This room's interesting. There's a capsule for a garbage bag. That's about it. Next up, we have a keycard in the Bone Lab hub level part. So once you get to the offices area with the plug, like for the bathtub, you know, you should find two keycards. You'll be using Jeremy's first, but make sure to take both. Now what you'd like to do is go back in the level to the bottom of the lift. Here you'll see a garage door and a keycard reader. Once again, just slip it in. Like how I slipped into your- I need to stop. Now this room is straight out of a nightmare. Covered in crablets, has lore, and is dark. Crazy, I know. But you can get couches here, so easily worth it. For the next room, you're gonna want to use Alex's card now. So head back to the Bone Lab Hub, but don't use the menu. Make sure to walk all the way back so you can keep Alexy Walexy's key card. Once you're back, head to the mods area and take off these vents. Head in and hit a sharp, crisp, 90 degree right turn. When you're at this intersection, look left and the door plus card reader is right there. So just slide the card in- Okay, I seriously need to stop. Now just phase through the door and enjoy exploring this goofy off place. Onto the level known as Long Run. So once you get to the point where you're at the Long Run, before the Mind Dive door, Kill all the Omni Projector boys and climb this pipe. After you get up here from the pipe, go near the Monogon sign you'll find Eric's keycard. Woo hoo. Now prop yourself up onto this roof, then this sign, then this other roof. Now you should see a card reader. Put the card in and go through here. Enjoy this weird ass place. Oh, there's also a gun under the couch. Be sure to get that. Now to fucking mind dive. I hate this level. So when you load in, don't go to the roller coaster just yet. Climb up onto the roof and head down, or should I say up, to this hole. Grab your boy Michael's card and turn around. Jump off the roof and go through this wall slash door imposter. Now going through this place you find a well. Turn left. Then in that corner you'll see a card reader and a slightly darker wall. This place is weird. Now for the second room in this level, first head to the roller coaster and the first middle beam on your left you want to climb. At the top you'll find another card. Now do not go in the cart. Walk down the rails until you get to the first door. Turn around and you'll find yourself at a rock wall with a walkway in it. Go in and once again, a card reader and a door. I'd say this is some kind of overseeing control room. There's also a target ghost here. Then next up here, we have Big Anomaly. After you end up decimating the Omni projectors in the shotgun part, drop down the staircase and move these boxes. Here you can nab Andrew's card. From here on, go back in the shotgun part to this door with the key card reader of course. To me, this place is like a mini lab. Now if you continue in the level and get to the purple nobody area, there's a keycard on top of this vending machine. Bring this bad boy to the end of the hallway to the keycard reader and double doors. I'm not too sure why this bathroom was locked by a keycard. Like imagine if you had to do your little tinkle and you just can't because the goddamn door is locked. And what is this? The holy toilet? Why in the fuck does it have a meeting table in it? What the hell is going on here? Now to Street Puncher. In Street Puncher, you want to murder everybody until you get to this staircase. Next, you want to kill this turret. There's a trash can lid here to block the bullets. Then become tall and grab Jonathan's card. Go back in the level to the shopping cart and hoist up onto here. At the end of the hallway, you'll see a spiral staircase. Head up it. Break this vent and climb through, which is very sussy. Climb this blue pipe. Land here and off to the right, there will be an opening. 
put the key card in and you can now claim the security guard avatar along with some other cool things. Now stupid fucking moon base. After you have fun attempting to get to the top of the launch platform, your key card is here. Oh? You can use dev mode to get a Nimbus gun and fly there? I went through pain to get this damn thing, so that means you should subscribe. This is totally not a plug. Now that you have Cameron's card, go back to the beginning at this tower. This is where you'll find the door to this room. Next up here we have Pillar Climb. Why do all my least favorite levels have to have secret rooms? Seriously? I don't like this. Anyways, here what you'll do is head to the top and then get up onto that ledge. Grab the card and head about halfway down to this door. Put the card in and press this button through the bars. Now this place is kinda cool, so I'm gonna let you guys explore it and figure out the puzzle yourselves. Now for our final level we have Ascent. Get to the nobody party and decimate everyone in the room, essentially ruining the party. On the left side of the head statue there's a hole with Heldine's card. Continue through the level until you get to the train area. Now next to this desk you can find this door, with would you know it, a keycard reader. In here you can find a couple of cool things including a fucking trash can and a barrel. Yeah, not good. Now further on in this level you will come across the area with blood drawn writing all over the walls. Creepy, I know. Simply open this locker, grab Brandon's card, and proceed to the lift area. Beyond the lift you might see the double doors with the keycard reader. Slide the card on in and enjoy. Well that just about wraps up today's video so if you guys enjoyed it, consider subscribing and stay tuned for the next week keycard door video where I do the exact same thing except find all the doors in the sandbox maps. Also I'm sorry this video is slightly delayed, I don't have an excuse, I just didn't work on it at all during the week. Anyways, I'll see you guys later, bye!